Hi everyone! Today I'll be talking about personalizing a gift uh, and for this it's a Christmas present. Um, so there's a lot of gifting ideas out there, you know, buying this, buying that. So today I'll be talking about a little bit more specialized and personalized gift. Um, so I purchased this wallet and I will be painting on this wallet to make it, you know, a little bit more personal for the receiver of this gift. Um, so I already did one already. So this is the one that I already did. Um, it's on a orange wallet with the tiger because orange is the color of her school and the tiger is the mascot of her school. So as you can see this one, it's already done. So I will be doing a similar painting, well not the same one, but a similar one on the blue wallet. So on the full of wallet, I started with etching the figure on the graph paper because the graph paper could get, provide more symmetry. And as you can see, I did the squid um, more symmetrical, the same as the tiger, which was very symmetrical. So I did that first. And then I went and I finalized the outline of the octopus. And I also colored it in, so it gave me a sense of what color to put on, on the wallet. And lastly, I did, I etched it out, and I don't know if you can see, I etched it out any type, any time when the inside I need to go over with a paint pen, I kind of etched it out with a X-Acto knife. So once this is done, I will be putting this onto the blue wallet as an outline and start my painting. So this is the wallet I'll be painting, the blue one, and I put the squid pattern on the front and I will be starting, um, you know, just to kind of trace over it and start the project. So today I will be using a few things. Um, this really fine paintbrush, um, you could get it from Amazon. But because it's such a small surface area, so I have to be really fine and I'm actually using the smallest, the finest print. Um, and then also this is um, just a kind of using this to clean the surface of the wallet, um, just to make sure some of the glazing is removed so it's easier to paint. And also uh, we will be using Angelus's leather paint. Um, obviously I'm using purple, the different shades of purple and black as outline and some other color for the squid. Um, and once that is done, I'm going to go over it with a finisher to kind of seal the color, um, to finalize, you know, just make sure the surface is good. So as you can see, I kind of trace the pattern and just kind of go over um, the outlines. Um, so there might be some thicker lines here, which, you know, we could go over once we start painting the inside, but this is basically the shape, the outline, and we could start painting the inside um, with the color that we are prepared to do. So this is the final product. Um, I did most of my painting on time lapse. It's just the fine tuning, like going over the outline and the small details, like the bowl, the eyes, and the little suction cups. I took it off, but that was, you know, required like a lot of me just getting closer to the canvas. Um, so, but anyway, this is done. So once this is dry, I'm going to use the the sponge brush and use the finisher, just kind of go over it to seal in the color. And again, let it dry for 24 hours. Um, if I need to put another layer, I might have to, but 
Um, I did put another layer of the purple paint because the blue, the under, but the background of the blue was showing off. Um, but anyway, this is the finished product. So again, I got this wallet from Aspen of London. It's a zip wallet. Inside there's placement for cards, you could put change, you could put bills. Um, it's pretty compact and it's light and also in the back there's a little another uh, slot here you know for your quick metro card or subway cards anything that you need quick access to so here you go i hope the recipient likes this present and it's a very personalized and special um, gift for the holidays or for any occasion so if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe and hit that alert button please do so and i'll see you next time